I make videos that nobody watches, and I'm okay with it. Good morning, everyone, and also, put your hands behind your back. Wait, no. Put your hands in the air. There you go. That's gonna be my favorite toy for a while. But again, good morning, everyone. Hope you guys' Sunday is going well. I'm not gonna tell you guys how many hours of sleep I had last night, but here's what I'll tell you. When it comes to the daily vlogs, yesterday's video was the longest edit time that I've, like, ever done. Because I know I've had edits that, like, took long. But the whole process and everything with me, uh, editing thumbnail upload or whatever it took about five hours almost six add that to the reasons why i don't want to do the fair every single day you know what i'm saying to put this into perspective for you guys my vlogs are usually around like 30 gigabytes completely unedited yesterday's video was like about 100 gigabytes but you know what though i will say it was one of the best videos i've ever made honestly i don't know what's like my best video ever but what i do know is that yesterday's video was was a banger still can't believe i pulled out the <laughs> I pulled out the Glock. Honestly, this thing saved the video, man. Shout out to this gun, man. This this saved the video. In about a couple days, uh, this will make another appearance for a special video. All right. For those of you that know me personally, you guys will understand why. But you know, we'll we'll get to it when it gets there. All right. Sounds good. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it anyway. It was fun to edit. It was fun to make. The most important thing, even if it was fun to make, I hope you guys enjoyed it. All right. On my way home now, me and mom are actually gonna run some errands a little bit, and then. After that, I think I think that's it. After this, we're gonna be doing some boxing training. I'm gonna go extra hard because I I I, I missed Wednesday, so I want to make sure I get my money's worth. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, go check out yesterday's video. No wonder why I'm growing gray hairs, man. All the time that I spend editing videos, aging really quickly because of it. Things have been quite the same. It's only been a couple of days, and I miss you. If you down i just want to make you happier baby wish i was around i just want to make you happier baby we've been doing all this late night talking about anything you want until the morning i can get you off my mind one night i just want you if i can't have you no one should i might i don't want none i just want you if i can't have you no one will i might I make videos that nobody watches, and I'm okay with it. You guys like the setting? This is like a skate park. We're gonna be taking you guys to a tour of this town, and I don't know. I, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah. I make videos that nobody watches. This is an idea that I got from a channel named Poe, and I thought it was a really intriguing title because, uh, in, in reality, let's get this preface out of the way first, all right? In reality, I have a lot of people that watch my videos. This isn't a flex or anything. It's not like millions or anything. It's not even thousands or anything, but we have a good community of people that actually watch my videos and, like, support it, and I genuinely thank you guys so much for it. Honestly, I just wanted to make a clickbait title out of it, you know? In the grand scheme of things, let's let's be real here. I am nowhere near the biggest YouTuber at all. Not even a considered big YouTuber, all right? I feel like it was a title that kind of related to what I'm doing right now with the daily series, and I felt like it was it was important to talk about because it's, like I said, it relates to me. I have a few reasons why I do this. Or I do the things that I do. I do the videos that I do. I make YouTube videos. I have a few reasons why. Even though, you know, not many people watch them, I think it's still something that I like to do in general. We'll get to that in a little bit, all right? Let me start off this kind of talk giving you guys a quick little backstory as to why i started youtube because this is pretty important to like the other points that i want to make i started off this youtube when i was like I was like 12 when i started this channel something like that one of the reasons why that i started was um pewdiepie pewdiepie made like videos and stuff and he made money out of it all right that's no secret and i thought it was interesting and i wanted to make some money out of it so that's kind of why i started in general for a little bit i got discouraged like not making any money that was my main goal i was like ah shit you know it didn't get me any bread so i switched my mindset after a long time being like you know i'm not gonna I'm not gonna go in this for the money anymore i'm just gonna go in this for like the creative process and i genuinely like it but sometimes the, the greediness of me still comes back being like ah, i need i want to make money I 
don't I want to do all this I want to have the glamour and everything I wasn't getting it obviously still not getting it right now but that's besides the point because of that I started taking a lot of breaks if you're an OG to this channel you'd realize that like I was taking a lot of breaks like I would give it like a like a three month break a four month break six month break all the way up to a year that was purely because of not seeing the success right little side note for the people like planet feather vivo vm 7 li that's the type of people that I make the videos for he commented on my personal message video being like no one gives a fuck like damn that's mean man so after a while of like contemplating whether I should keep going whether I should like make this video I had no ideas what like I had zero ideas for a video thinking about quitting YouTube yes I did thought about quitting YouTube a few times that was still under the umbrella of me being like I want to be successful all that kind of stuff and you know of course I still want to but I'll dig deeper later on about that one but after a while of thoughts like that I was like you know what I should do screw it why don't we just upload every single day just to see what happens I've done daily uploads before project BH Christmas calendar all that kind of stuff those were kind of like special things for the Christmas calendar it was like a December thing so I was like making videos kind of a little bit related to that kind of stuff like gaming some Christmas videos whatever and for the project PH I was in the Philippines so you know there was a lot of content there when I thought of like if I do this project 50 thing which is all about uh, self-improvement I thought I thought it would be a fun idea but I also had doubts in my mind because I overthink and I was like how can I make every single video somewhat interesting and you know of course fast forward like <laughs> six months later here I am like actually making it work with all these doubts in my mind why don't I just like screw it like let's let's just do it no matter what like stick to it and just see what happens and there was a breakup somewhere in between there but you know we'll talk about that some other time <laughs> I think this goes without- oh, ow. <laughs> ow my spot. I think this goes without saying that I, I love making videos. I kind of dabbled on that a little bit earlier, but in general, I just- I like making videos. The process of it is actually really fun. A couple reasons why is because the creativity side of it, I like being creative a little bit. Kind of like a brain dump, if you know what I mean. It's a little bit therapeutic. It's just me and the camera, boys. That actually, let me get into that just a little bit. I mentioned a- f some how many episodes ago but i mentioned that the camera is pretty much my best friend if it wasn't for the camera i probably wouldn't be in the best shape right now not physically but like mentally the cameras helped me out a lot because during like you know times where driving or like i'm you know i'm alone at least i can talk to you guys and as sad as that sounds it, that's real that's that's the truth it's kind of like a friend of mine a friend of mine that just listens we all have our own shit that we got to deal with so you know i think it's important that you know we have someone to listen to and i think with the camera i got that for you guys you know you guys listen to me ramble on for god knows how long and i genuinely appreciate it because you know you guys are supporters of like what i make and you guys listen to what i have to say again thank you Obsession. i like to talk a lot i have a lot of things to say even though i don't you know i don't have like the the biggest experience that like you know other people have i don't have like this crazy amount of stories uh, either way i still like to talk going back to the camera thing i have someone to talk to all i have to do is just turn the camera on and that's it i honestly think that's a trait that all youtubers have it, like especially like vloggers is like they just they, they they like to talk you know i'm part of that so we like to talk we love to talk about whatever it is whatever thing we're, we got going on for the day whatever i idea that we got in our heads it helps a lot with getting stuff off of our minds let me just talk about me it helps things like get things off my mind i don't know if you've heard that saying like if you if you bubble stuff up too much like it'll just explode and it'll be a bad reaction you know you have a breakdown whatever with being a yapper being as that's what poe said being someone that likes to talk a lot you know having a camera it's a good combo i could just express my thoughts without you know being too apologetic about it. it's kind of what this channel's about to be honest <laughs> Don't look up in my kilt, you perv. This vlog series is kind of a form of daily diaries, like, you know, doing a diary, but even more creative than, than what a diary can provide for you. It's like a daily check-in, you know? Daily check-in for me, and, you know, even a daily check-in for you guys. If you guys are doing well, let me know in the comments, man. It's a way for me to check in on myself, like, from, let's say, five months ago, to see how I was doing back then compared to now. It's a good thing to, like, keep track of, and it's been helping me out a lot. Going back to when I was doing Project 50, before this daily series was called just the daily series back then it was called project 50 i talked about it a while ago where watching my own videos from like let's say you know a couple days ago or even editing the videos like from the same day that i recorded it it helps my confidence i don't know what it is especially when i put like singing clips in it helps me boost my confidence and it's helped me out a lot that's just one of the good things about it which kind of ties into me doing a daily diary it helps in general let's go down this slide without breaking my equipment here all right here we go hey Oh. Yeah, I remember these back in the day, man. These were the funnest things ever. Maybe not as fun when I'm recording, but kind of a cozy spot here. It's a little bit echoey, but you know, it, bear with me. Oh.
I kind of dabbled into it earlier, but um, to go back into it and give it more detail, this whole series that I'm doing, 100 and what are we at now? 168, 169, something like that. 69. It's not going to be funny when it's not 169. This is a test. This is a test to see if I can actually do it. I've never really tested myself with the YouTube stuff. I guess a little bit with, with the Project 50, the Christmas calendar or whatever, but I've never really fully tested my, my skills. I've never really fully tested my potential with doing YouTube. I actually kind of talked about this a long time ago too. Uh, you guys should watch my other videos. It's pretty good. This was a test to see if I can complete this challenge, complete the Project 50 series, and I completed it with flying colors, so I'm turning it into a full, full-blown one-year series, and maybe even potentially longer than that, but you know, whatever. I also mentioned, like, I started YouTube being like, oh, I want to make money and all that kind of stuff. I want to have all this, you know, accolades. Now, like, I don't really want that as much. Of course, money would be cool. Talking about that, this is kind of a test to see if I even deserve that, because as we all know, I think everyone's heard of this before, whatever you want to get to, whatever dream you want to chase, hard work and dedication is always number one, like number one key to being successful and consistency as well. I mentioned this in the old video, I think it was called, am I quitting YouTube? Where if this like daily series thing doesn't work like at all, it's just a big flop. If I completed the challenge for myself, then at least I know that I tried. At least I will live with no regrets being like, oh, I should have done this to get that. I should have, you know. So yeah, let's see what happens at the end of this year. I'm just kind of going with the flow at this point. <laughs> kind of getting chilly. Let's talk a little bit about it in here. One of the things that I learned recently, this actually came from Jideon, and I thought it was really like, it was, it was really eye-opening. It made so much sense. Kind of ties into the test thing a little bit, where if I can't upload daily for you guys, if I can't provide for you guys every single day, I don't deserve your subscription. Now, here's what Jideon said, and it's one of the reasons why I really wanted to make this video. What he said was somewhere along the lines of, if you can't entertain 10, 20, 30, 40, whatever, how many people, small amount of people then you don't deserve the millions of people that watch the videos i was like yeah you're right you're right so i've had this video idea for a while now but as soon as i heard that just a few days ago i was like all right let's make this as soon as possible if you can't be grateful if you can't entertain like a small amount of people a small community then you can't and you don't deserve, you know, the millions or the thousands, millions, whatever, how many people that watch the videos. And I'm at that same mindset. And let me kind of sell myself to you guys, all right? I feel like I'm pretty decent at entertaining you guys, all right? Any objections? Let me know. Everyone in the comments is going to be like, nah, hell no. You you trash, man. You garbage. Last point, I'm going to go home real quick and, uh, and eat some chicken. I'm hungry. And I hold you every night. And that's the feeling I want to get used to. But there's no man. Is terrified as the man who stands to lose you. Cause I don't know what else I can do. I'm still holding on to everything that's dead and gone. I don't want to say goodbye, cause this one means forever. Here I am alone between the heavens and the embers. For a million different reasons, you took the best of my heart and left the rest in peace. Right, and last point, probably one of the most important ones if I'm looking at it selfishly here. This is kind of personal, a little bit. Nothing too crazy, otherwise I wouldn't share it, right? The skills that I've learned throughout this whole, like, YouTube journey. Everything from, everything as little as knowing how to game, because, you know, your boy knows how to game, all the way up to something as important as, um, talking. Let's get into a little bit of the stuff that I've learned throughout this whole YouTube journey that I've embarked myself into. Technology is one of them. Learning how to you know, make computers, learning how to work computers in general. I have a whole gaming setup and stuff that I barely use. I only use it for editing now, but that's besides the point. All that was done by me. One of the big reasons was YouTube. I wanted to get the right gear. I wanted to research like, you know, the right technology for to make the best videos that I can possible. I know a lot about it now because of <laughs> pretty much because of YouTube. And when it comes to technology, let's talk about uh, cameras. I've learned a lot about cameras. I'm a Sony boy. If you're a Canon comrade, I understand, but I'm a Sony soldier. Granted, I'm not like the greatest at camera stuff. Like I'm not like the best photographer or whatever. I know a good amount to be above average. I actually have a list right here of stuff that I've learned. I have it on my notes. Oh yeah, softwares. I'm pretty good at Sony Vegas. Even though my editing times are very long, it would be a lot longer if I wasn't fast. I'm pretty quick at editing. I'm not gonna lie to you. I've learned a lot of softwares ranging from Sony Vegas to Photoshop to 
OBS to a whole bunch of a uh, whole bunch of softwares. I'm sure there's a lot more, but it's hard to think of stuff right now, I guess. Let's talk about the last one. And this is pretty important. Talking. What you guys are hearing right now didn't come out of nowhere. This was like years and years and years of process in the making. I may not be the greatest, but you know, I feel like I've done a pretty good job considering I'm an immigrant, you know what I mean? And let me tell you, Pretty much all of it was because of YouTube. If I didn't force myself to talk, like, in front of a camera, I don't think I'd be good at talking as I am now. And with being good at talking, it also led me to modeling. Uh, I didn't write that down, but actually, I just thought of that. Yeah, it led me to modeling. Modeling slash acting. Being good in front of the camera and being able to talk pretty decently in front of a camera led me to pretty good qualifications of becoming a model and actor. Shout out to YouTube for helping me out with that. Th that's actually a big thing, I just realized that, <laughs> Jesus. And why am I saying all the skills that I've learned to wrap it up. I'm not gonna stop doing YouTube because, you know, as I keep embarking on my journey, I, you never know what kind of skills I'm gonna learn, you know? I might develop even more skills, and I think that's one of the most important things. <laughs> In conclusion, if you're interested in YouTubers or making your own videos and you have some doubts, please do it. Just do it. People have this idea of YouTube where they think that they need the best technology to make it make it i guess to or or even to make videos and i think like you couldn't be any more wrong if you look at my old videos back 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 in the day you could see that i had the worst technology <laughs> all right i was recording on screencast automatic on my 50 dollars computer and of course i wasn't really doing anything with it you know i was making some videos but you know got like what 10 10 views that doesn't matter if you enjoy it that's really what matters for the people that are starting youtube here's what i suggest you guys start doing just make videos you literally have a phone bro like this this can record record better than most cameras okay just start recording make videos that you like and if you like it keep going and if you were like me you start youtube because you want the fame the money you're not here for the right reasons i think you've heard all the other youtubers say that and it's true because if you have that mindset you're eventually just going to disappoint yourself and you know you're going to waste your time so i'd say enjoy the journey and just start that's that's all it is just start doing it okay but yeah either way that's about it thank you so much for watching I'll be seeing y'all tomorrow. Peace.